All right. That's close. That's better. All right. Got the toilet in. Obviously got the floor in. Got most of the tile in. Don't have any trim in. In the process of half doing the walls because, oh, what am I even, I got to clean that up. Uh, just patching some nail holes on some walls that I'm going to leave that I'll cover with trim and pictures. And that I don't care if they look up half bad. This is going to come off when the furnace comes out. Or we can get a uh, get a double double door hall closet for towels and stuff. This I'm debating. There's a big hole here. There's a big hole there. Uh, that's just taped up that I'll have to cut out and repair. I'm debating just pulling the whole piece of sheetrock and replacing it instead. I don't know what's up with this giant bow, or if you can even perceive it. I gotta rip these out, replace them here, fix this piece. This is all for my eldest son. He destroyed this bathroom. Put the trim back on here, probably just gonna put new trim, take off this garbage, that's what was here. Take off that, take off that, take off all the top trim. Um, you know, trim it out like I have the rest of the house. Mirror's good, don't look at the fat belly. Light has to go over, but for now they need light. It's not fitting right, you can't even sot it probably, but the bottom screw is, it's tight, it's secure, it's not in. Didn't come with light bulbs, kind of ticked off about that, so I just snagged some from the other room. Uh, but like I said, most important, that's good, that's good, but the faucet's got to be replaced. The shower head has to be replaced because my eldest again hit that. It's got to, I got to take sheetrock out the other side. I'm debating whether I should just cut the fiberglass instead because when the youngest that's moved in now, when he moves out, I'm going to rip this whole thing out anyway or have it ripped out professionally, more than likely, and just have a walk in shower put in. Um, and uh, or maybe one of those standalone bathtubs, those plastic fake uh, claw foots. No, they're not claw foots, but you know what I mean, the shape. Uh, and then have it actually tiled with uh, porcelain tile. But yeah, that's your update update. And I like the mirror, I like the light. It's not the light that I bought for it, but the light that I bought for it doesn't fit because it's way too long. Unless I relook, I'm gonna relook at the whole thing anyway. I'm gonna scoot this light over. So it's centered with the mirror. Um, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. But I don't know, maybe I'll, I don't know. I don't know, I, whatever. I don't I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I know it looks weird. I just gotta repair it anyway. I'm mean, still gonna pull it out and fix it. So I've gotta, they're gonna do something, but for now they have light. And she, her most important concern, she was much less concerned about a toilet. I've got an outhouse right now that my son's using um, that she basically refuses to use. She just sneaks in our bathroom when necessary. And uh, her most important aspect, she wanted a mirror to do her makeup. I'm an idiot. I should have. If I wouldn't have been doing with this my son, I would have moved this over back. And Kate was coming through the wall originally. That's how ghetto our place is. And I bought this 12-inch deep vanity, much to my chagrin and my dismay. Once I actually went to put it in, I was like, wait a minute. That damn pipe comes out like 17 inches. So I had to buy a special order 22 inch deep special marble that I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to I think I got enough space there's four and a half inches or maybe five and a half inches of space under that because it sits on those legs right so I'm gonna try to get a little 30 degree angle piece cut that just at the floor bring it over and bring it up right in front of these hoses and then I think I can get away or maybe beside the hoses if necessary and then I think I can get away with uh, with being able to utilize a drawer still because there's a big space in the back here and there's you know the the, the shelf only the drawer only go back so far so this is a 400 dollar unit man um engineered marble nice i got a faucet that came with my other one and uh i guess i'm gonna have to i guess i'm gonna have to sell this farker and the sink that came with it uh on Facebook for like, you know, $50 off what I paid for it. There's the sink that's in fine condition, just sitting on the floor. But yeah, it's been a nonstop endeavor. Um, but you know, every moment is a, is a joy when we do it for our children or something like that. And this is, and this was again, much to my chagrin and dismay. I don't know what's going on here, but for some reason, you know, there's probably a leak in this bathroom at one point. And so this floor is raised 
and I didn't notice it because the first piece, the sub four, it goes from wall to wall. And then this is a separate piece right here. So this from across this line all the way, that's one whole piece, this is a separate piece. And then, the, then the top floor, this is the plywood, this is one full sheet. And then this from the wall to the tub and you know back along the square, that's, that's one sheet. So we didn't notice the lip on the subfloor, put this one in where this one meets, you know, different height, right? Where the, where the, where the, where the, so, you know, we had to cut the tile to keep it from, you know, breaking later and I'll fill it up with caulk and that's really the only defect. But when we have it tiled with porcelain, they can put floor leveler or the quick set rather, just thick it, do it thicker there. You know, they'll level it off, they'll do their thing. <sighs> but yeah, like I say, Endless fun for our children, yay.